Yes! Let's go! Finally! I've become a no-life. An addict, if you will, for this game. Just so you don't have to. It's definitely not for another reason. Because this will be the guy that gets you the diamond and the favor back from you guys. I need you guys to subscribe. By subscribing, you help my videos be pushed out to even more people. Thank you so much for those who are subscribed. It really, really does mean a lot. You need to dodge in every direction, upwards, backwards, upside down, reverse 360 no scope, on your left in every single direction you could possibly think of. And preferably not sound like a wailing cat like I do in this video. But you just can't switch up how you're a little bitch and dodge your opponent's attacks. You also have to change up your own attacks. This way it's practically impossible that they'll dodge all of your attacks. Additionally, you have to analyze your opponent's patterns, stitch which way they're dodging the most and what reads they continuously go for. If you understand their playstyle more, you'll be able to read them more. This has a huge tie to confidence, more on this later. Number 2. Confidence. Okay, apparently this isn't later on. If you analyze your opponent's patterns that you choose not to act in this because of the way they mix it up, then you have a fat ass confidence issue. It's at this point in time I'd start rethinking my life choices. This could be helped if you want to touch grass once in a while. But just make sure you're not like me when you go outside. Moving on. Confidence goes a long way, and it's no different in other situations. If you're confident, you play better. But understand that when you do lose, that you clearly won't do as well as your opponent. So instead of complaining, get off your ass, stop being a bitch, join the Discord down below, reflect on the game, and put your ego aside. Having a main. If you play multiple characters at once, it's a waste of time compared to practicing and practicing and practicing. And did I mention practicing one character to perfection? Understanding character exclusive combos, example, Barbara D Light at the GCD sync when they don't have a dodge. Optimal punishers and combos slash true combos. This relates heavily to having a main as so many character specific combos. For example, when you're playing a toy, it's a better option to do downlight gravity cancel neutral signature rather than the more common downlight cider. Having done more damage on your opponent lets you have more control over the game. These small differences can be an absolute game changer, and you're quite frankly a donkey if you choose not to believe this. An absolute buffoon to be exact. Go to training to investigate and practice certain combos for your legend, as we differ from legend to the legend despite if the weapon is the same. Watch the professionals. They're recognized in the Bohala community for a reason, and honestly, it doesn't matter that you're copying their playstyle because at the end of the day, it's about winning. There are a multitude of insane people in my Discord down below, so make sure you go check that out. Once you've analyzed enough professional players, you'll be able to analyze your own replays. But make sure you're ready for business, otherwise you might think things are mistakes when they really aren't. If you want a more advanced guide, make sure to go let me know in my Discord and comment down below. I'll also know if you subscribe, and it really does mean a lot. Thank you so much. Talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.